What's it loading for us? Holy shit! Oh, that's awesome. All right, that's it. Turn it. Alex from Play Shows. These must be the programmers. Yeah. <laughs> Did she know his Peabody? Yeah. That was so freaking cool. Wait, I wonder if we can get our last. Is Chell's gonna be in here? Uh, no. Charlie Brown. <laughs> nah, she went on here. <laughs> well, that's it then. So this is how. So this is a prequel, I guess. And this is how. Uh. I'm so confused with the timeline. Hates Monday. Oh look. What? It's one of those uh. Oh, the water. Cubes. So then this has to be after. Wheatley because he's the one who invented this. Oh, dude, they had the personal uh. I don't know. It can't be after Wheatley because all the test subjects died. No, it has to be after Wheatley because well, if, there's, if there's one of those work walking uh, cubes, he's the one who made those. Yeah, I don't know. That was good though, that was fun. The last one's hard as hell. Yeah, look that up. Find out when this is. Fierce intimacy? What the hell? Are you looking it up? No. Oh, well, what are you doing? I'm probably going to start working. Alright, well, I'm not actually sure of the timing of this. I thought it was a prequel. But, you know, they just may have one of those things walking around just because it's in the game. Maybe. I tend to think this was a prequel, like how they got all of the test subjects. Unless, unless this is after, and everybody died out of that one thing, but they they access a different vault of test subjects. I, I, I'm sure after Shell escaped, so. you know. Yeah. That, unless that's what this is about. <laughs> like how they're all like one bland character model, what the hell? They don't even look like people. They don't even have color on them, they're just like... Alright, we're coming up on the end here. I wonder if there's going to be anything after it or... Uh-oh. What the hell? GLaDOS! <laughs> Wheatley. The picture of Cave Johnson. the hell? Cores? Oh, there they are! Us. Oh, those are the voices. Yeah, that's what's okay. Good. What the fuck? Oh, Chell. Huh. Still alive. <laughs> Want you gone. That's a really cool way to do the credits. Yeah. Alienware? <laughs> Dell? What the hell?
all these companies and then like a couple of people. <laughs> Dude, this coffee mug says I need a hug. <laughs> Thank you for participating in this enrichment center activity. Confetti! Take us back to the hub now. If we want to replay anything, probably. Yep. For your testing convenience, all tests are available, and all safety precautions within our testing chambers have been deactivated. All right. Well, let's let's take a look at our final stats here. Scrolling across the board. We combined for 2,065 science collaboration points. We set 1,402 portals. Huh? Yeah. Area of underperformance zero. Portals traveled 861. Twenty-two disasters averted. Okay, I don't know what that exactly means, but all right. What else did we do? I took sixteen thousand three hundred and twenty steps. You took sixteen thousand one hundred and fifty, and that's it. Those are all the stats. All right. That's all for the Portal 2 co-op campaign. It's pretty fun. Uh, it wasn't very long, but uh, that was a decent size. I thought it was very good. It's like, what, eight, eight times? It was like 40. I think one actually had nine, so it was like 41, uh, 41 test chambers, something with like that. With more to come, hopefully. Yeah, with more to come, hopefully, in the DLC. So I like this. This is a really good addition to the Portal series. I thought it was really cool how they got, you know, they actually invented puzzles that you needed four portals and two people to do. Um, and it was fun. I think we both enjoyed it. And uh, we'll definitely play more if co-op is included in the DLC this summer. So, um, Alright, and I finished with an even 16,400 steps. And uh, that's going to be all. So thanks for watching.